hey guys welcome to a new video so in this video we are going to be modeling the handle or the lever which is going to be used to rotate the screw and this is the component that we are going to model so click on file new part and select ok so we already know the size of the screw and since the screw needs to attach with the handle we basically know what the inner uh, size of the handle needs to be so let's click on uh, the front plane go to the sketch tool use the polygon tool make sure that you have six edges right and we're going to select the center the origin basically and drag it out then just like before we are going to apply a vertical constraint so that we align the x again perfectly and we are going to select a dimension of 10 millimeters so that it is going to exactly attach with our screw you can see that it appears as 0 0.01 and that's in meters that's because of the unit system so let's actually go back to millimeters so that uh, you know we are consistent when you change the dimension you can see that our sketch has been exited so let's go back into the sketch and you will see that the new dimensions appear so we are going to create another polygon uh, which is centered at the same location and we are going to basically select this edge this edge and we are going to say that the thickness needs to be five millimeters now let's exit the sketch and we are going to extrude this particular sketch and we are going to type in a value of 20 millimeters let's click ok so now we are going to create the handle and we are going to select this particular face to do it so let's uh, click on sketch and use ctrl 8 to view it along its normal and we are going to be drawing a circle first and we need to select this point and drag it out so now we are going to select the origin and the center of our circle and we are going to use the make horizontal constraint and we are going to select this point and this point and we are going to change the dimensions to 10 millimeters so this way we know that the circle is centered and change the diameter of the circle to 12.5 millimeters and click ok and exit the sketch so now we are going to drag this and we are going to drag this by 80 millimeters and let's click on ok so next we are going to basically create an handle on the other side so let's rotate the geometry select the space click on sketch and uh, use ctrl 8 to view it correctly and use the circle tool select it click and drag it out now we are going to select the center and the origin use the horizontal constraint and then we are going to basically say that the distance between the center and the left face is 10 millimeters okay so this centers our circle and we can say now that the diameter of our circle is 12.5 millimeters okay so let's click uh, exit sketch and we are ready to extrude this particular feature so type in a value of 80 millimeters and click ok so now we have created all the four parts that is required for our assembly so in the next video we will be taking a look at how to assemble all these components all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye